Hey guys, it's Savannah and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is some Dollar Tree front porch decor and it is also a collaboration with another amazing channel. I will talk about that in a minute. So let's go ahead and jump into our first DIY. All right, for our first porch DIY, you're gonna need one of these little Valentine's Day trucks. Now, Dollar Tree has these out almost for every season, so it doesn't necessarily have to be Valentine's Day. And I just started by removing the hearts, or I know there's like bunny feet for Easter. I just wanted to remove that and make it a plain truck. Now, I know I said porch decor, but I don't really have a porch. Like, I have a porch, but it's very small. I don't know how to explain it. It's just like a step up and then a step into the house, you know? So it's very small. Um, so some of this stuff is, but my garden's like right next to it. I'm rambling again. So I made stuff for the garden and like stuff for the front porch. So that's what we're working with. So anyways, I'm just taking my Cricut craft knife and I'm just kind of just scoring it until I get it, um, you know, enough through. I did use something to brace my straight line because at first I was trying to do it without that and it was not working. So I just went over and over and then I flipped it over and did it on the back as well. And then I kind of just wiggled it until it snapped off. Then I just turn it over to the back because that's just what I wanted to use. And I'm taking the color Drop Cloth by Dixie Bell, and I am just doing a very light dry brushing. I like some of that, not wood, whatever this stuff is, showing through, the faux wood, if you will. I like some of that showing through, so I just kind of just dry brush over the back of this until it was all kind of even, and I got it how I liked it. Then while that is drying, I'm taking one of these spindles. Shout out to Megan from the Crafty Quinn. I still have like two more of these. And I thought this would be like the perfect post to stick in like a flower pot or in your garden. So I'm just going in with my finger sander and just sanding it down, bringing out some of that natural like wood and making it look, you know, old and worn and just, you know, my style. What else would you expect? So I'm not really sure if this really played a part in this DIY. You could probably just get away with not doing it, but in my mind, it made sense. So I took like the Dollar Tree stencil brush and some ink Waverly chalk paint, and I kind of just outlined like the tires, the window, kind of just like the edges and just went around. Again, <laughs> in my head, it made sense, but I don't even know if you could really tell at the end. So once I got that done, I'm taking my chip brush and some ink Waverly chalk paint, and then I'm just going around the edges, just stressing the edges as well and making the truck look very old and worn. Then I printed this out on my Cricut. I believe it's the beach, please, maybe? It's something with beach in it, the font style. And I just used matte vinyl and I'm just weeding out the, you know, the stuff that doesn't come off when you pull this stuff off, you know. If you have a Cricut, you feel what I'm saying. You, you smell what I'm cooking, right? Okay, so then I put it on some transfer tape and we're not gonna show that struggle. And then I lay it on top of this truck until I get it straight. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I always have the hardest time getting my vinyl to stick to these wood pieces. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but yeah, again, just me probably. Anyways, so then I'm taking my Cricut shovel spatula thing and I'm just rubbing it down. Then once I got the transfer tape off, I wanted to add some Mod Podge because this is going to be outside and I didn't want those words to come up and, you know, why not? <laughs> I'm doing so bad at these voiceovers today. <laughs> Okay, so my daughter made the all-star team and I'm a coach and so we spend every weekend at the ball field. So, and you know, we practice more cuz it's all-star team and I am just drained. Drained with mama drama. I'm oh my gosh. So, sorry. <laughs> but I love being out there and seeing her play, so it's definitely worth it. 
Then we're gonna make one of my bows. So I just laid out a bunch of ribbon. I laid some straight, I laid some sideways, and then I'm just taking some raffia, and I always pinch the middle, and I just take it and fold it up to make it look like a bow and get it how I like it. And then I'm taking some of this white pom-pom ribbon, and I'm gonna stick that on top of the raffia, and then I'm going to take some jute, and I'm gonna cinch the bow. Next, we're just gonna hot glue it to the top of our truck. Super simple, super self-explanatory. Stop saying super, super. <laughs> and then we are going to take our um, spindle and we're gonna hot glue our truck to the spindle. And that is pretty much it. And then you can just take the bottom of the spindle, the smaller part, and just stick it in wherever you want. And you could honestly use whatever you wanted. If you didn't have a spindle, you could use, you know, like a steak, you know, the, uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Walmart and Dollar General have steaks for a dollar. So there are so many other options if you don't have spindles. Today's video is a collaboration with Ashley from Crafts with Ash DIY and Decor. She is a little newer to YouTube, but definitely has a awesome channel. She has so many different videos, outdoor hacks, 4th of July DIYs, summer themed DIYs, just everything. And I think that's awesome when it comes to having a YouTube channel. There's so much to pick from, especially Dollar Tree DIYs. So in my description box, there is going to be a link to her video and her channel. And once you're done watching my video, of course, be sure to go over there and check her out. Tell her that Savannah sent you. And also, if you're coming over from Ashley's channel, welcome. I'm Savannah, and I am so happy that you stopped by today. And let's get back into our video. All right, moving on to our second DIY. If you guys saw my last thrift flip video, you saw the mail organizer that has fallen apart on me, but I loved the front of it, so I wanted to keep those pieces, and this is one of those pieces. I love the blue, love the design, love the wood, love it all. So I am going to make a little piece with this. So I'm just taking some of that Dixie Belle that was still in the brush from the truck, adding a little bit more and I kind of want to tone down this blue. Not too much. I still want it to show through, but I definitely did not want it as dark as it like it was because you'll see why in a little bit. Then I'm just taking some antique Waverly wax and a baby wipe and I'm kind of just staining the wood around it because I wanted that to be a little bit darker and stand out a little bit more. So that's pretty simple. I mean, I probably should have done this first because I did get it a little bit on, you know, that part, the white part and the blue part, but I just took a baby wipe and rubbed it off and it honestly just looked like it was distressed. So it ended up working out fine. Next, I also printed this off on my Cricut. It just says 2525 in the same font, the beach. I think it's DTC beach something. Um, and instead of like using transfer tape and transferring it because it was too spaced out, I am just taking them off one by one and laying them on, um, you know, on this piece. Now, this is, you know, obviously the number of my house. Don't stalk me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but I thought this would be really cute to just put like on the side of the house um, by our door. So that's what we're going to do with this. So I just try to lay them out as straight as I can get them. And then I am also going to cover this in Mod Podge just because it's going to be outside and I don't want the vinyl to come up or rain, you know, just because, right? And then that is it for this one. But I did want to show you, I thought about putting these half beads around it but I just really liked the dark of the wood. I think if I was gonna use these, I would maybe stain these as well, just to give the 
you know the frame some texture but i did just want to show this to give you guys another idea i also think this would be really cute in your house with like your zip code on it so there's so many options there but yeah that's it If you're new to my channel, I'm Savannah and I love doing Dollar Tree DIYs and thrift flips. Honestly, any DIY that can save this girl a buck. So if that's something you're into, hit that subscribe button. Also, follow me over on Instagram at Savvy Crafts with Savannah. That's where I feel like I can be a little bit more personal with you guys and talk a little bit outside of YouTube. Also, if you would like to support my channel, there is a link in my description box. But another way to support my channel is liking, commenting, sharing all of my videos. It really does mean so much to me. I love all my subscribers so much. I feel like I know you guys. <laughs> it's so crazy. We've never met, but I honestly feel like I know you guys and I cannot thank you guys enough. Now, this next little DIY, I wouldn't even call it a DIY, but this part is relevant to our next DIY. I picked this up off the side of the road. <laughs> And it is like a door that I think was on like a china cabinet because it had glass in it. And I just, I don't know. I thought this would be really cute uh, out in your garden or on your front porch. And you'll see why in a minute, you know, this is relevant to our next DIY. But literally all I did, I took the glass out, wiped it down with a baby wipe. And I am painting this whole thing in the drop cloth by dixie bell and just one coat was good because i didn't mind some of that wood showing through you could do whatever color you want you could do color color would be pretty in your garden so um yeah i think this turned out really cute with the, especially with the next diy like i said super simple it's literally just painting this this door i almost bit my tongue and i am not going to show you the reveal yet because we are going to do our last diy before i show you the reveal of this project all right and for our last diy you're going to need one of these willow wreaths from the dollar tree and i just started by taking this pick that i got from walmart it was 97 cents i loved the greenery and a little bit of the pink i think it's perfect for summer or spring um, and I'm taking some dog toenail clippers from the Dollar Tree and I am just trimming all of the little pieces off so they are all individual pieces. And then I'm going to just lay them on the top almost in like a swag formation and you know just play around with it until I get them how I like it. And then I'm going to take a Dollar Tree zip tie and I'm going to zip tie these in place. Now you could always like stick them in there or hot glue them. But I, you know, maybe want to change these out of one day, you know, who knows? It was only a dollar, so stop being so cheap, girl. But, you know, I just keep adding branches in there and then zip tying them to make sure they stay. And don't worry about what color you use because we're going to cover that red anyway. So don't worry about that. But I did add two extra zip ties to the middle just to make sure that these branches or these florals, greenery, whatever you want to call them, did not go anywhere. Now, before we start on our bow, I am just taking some more 97 cent greenery from the Walmart, <laughs> almost at the Dollar Tree, and I am just adding that to the end just to give a little bit more dimension and different patterns and florals in this little wreath. And you can see I already have one of my bows laid out there. So I did go ahead and add raffia and cinch that bow once I got the greenery how I wanted, but I just felt like the bow was too small for this wreath. So I did want to add something else in there, like some tails and, but I love the messy bow. I, you know, I think clean bows are cute too, but I just love a messy bow probably because I'm so messy. My life is a mess. So I'm taking some more of that like burlap ribbon and some lace ribbon, and I'm going to lay the bow in the middle of it. And then I'm going to take a zip tie and zip tie these together. 
and then it'll cinch it and it'll look like this bow has tails or longer pieces and I did feel like that added what I wanted and then I um, dovetailed the ends and then I also took some jute and wrapped it around the middle to cover that red zip tie and then I took the excess pieces and I tied that in the middle of the wreath to you know secure it and I can always take it off if I wanted to and that is it and I made this wreath actually for my door but after making that window I, th I was like oh this is it this is where it's going so let me know what you guys think what is your favorite from today and which are there any DIYs you're going to be doing <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you made it all the way to the end, leave a front porch emoji like a rocking chair or something that you like on your front porch. And don't forget to check out Ashley. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.